Hey guys, glad to be back. It's been a while that I made a video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why is aluminum chloride a Lewis acid. First of all, what is a Lewis acid? So Lewis acids are just compounds that can accept that can accept electrons. Now, if I take a close look at the electronic configuration of aluminum, it has 13 electrons in total, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p1, and it ends up in the third shell, right? And enters the electron, the last electron enters the P block. So, but within this third shell, we have 3s, 3p, and 3d, right? But these particular electrons for aluminum, electrons for aluminum, it, they enter to the s orbital, to the p orbital, but we have no electron in 3d orbital. That means we have an empty, we have an empty orbital. Now, when we have an empty orbital, that means a compound can accept electrons. Now, just to make it clearer, we have aluminum chloride. If I write the structure like this, Lewis structure, right? We have aluminum and we have chlorine like this. So here, the central atom, aluminum, it's sharing six electrons with three chlorine atoms. But when you have a stable compound, it usually forms an octet. But in this particular case, aluminum is not forming an octet, but it actually wants to form an octet in most just to gain the stability, right? So in this particular case, to form an octet, and just because it has an empty orbital, it can accept electrons. And when the compounds can accept electrons, it's called a Lewis acid. And that is why aluminum chloride is a Lewis acid. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll see you next time.